Well, hello there, my babies. How is everyone doing this fine, lovely day? Um, today, I'm going to talk about, very briefly, about how much Uber drivers get paid. Well, let's just get right on into it, shall we? Um, I personally can only speak for myself. Um, I'm going to begin with the basics. Uh, the base pay is from 80 cents to $2, and it depends on the promotion and the incentives that they have. And so that's why I don't base myself off of base pay. So that's just base pay. Um, and then it depends on the area that you reside in as well. So I live in Atlanta. I reside in Atlanta, and Atlanta is a very big city. Um, it's not a, an extremely big city to the point where it's like New York City, but it is very popular. It's very busy, and so there's a lot of work here. So it depends also on what parts of Atlanta. So downtown Atlanta is extremely busy. There are surge prices. There is a surge. There's promotional price uh, promotions, surge pricing. So it also depends on where you are at what time. There are three peak hours that um, where you mainly make your most money. In the very early hours of the day, from 4 a.m. to about, let's say, 9, 10 a.m., it is very busy. People are going to work, and there are also surges going on, depending on the area. It's mainly in downtown, Buckhead, those areas you won't know, but I will put a screenshot of the areas in the next clip so you see what I'm talking about. And it depends on, like I said, what time of day you are working. So that is the first peak time. The second very busy peak time is after 3 p.m. And that's when everybody's going, getting off work. And from 3 p.m. to about 7 to 8 p.m., it's really busy. People are getting off work. They need a, they need a ride. And so it, there's also surging going on there because people are, are requesting rides to go home. And that's the second peak time that I recommend that you start working if you decide to work for Uber. The third and <clears throat> final peak time, which I will never work, is at night. So a lot of right, a lot of Uber drivers right, drive at night because it is so, so busy, and uh, especially on the weekends. So it starts from I believe 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. That is the peak time for after hours at night when everybody's usually sleeping um but yeah so people are going out they're going to whatever they're going with their friends um it doesn't matter i don't know they're just requesting a lot of rides so those are the three peak times and guess which one i chose i chose the one in the very early hours i wish i could work from 5 a.m but i can't because my son my son's babysitter starts opens at 7 a.m so i'm kind of forced to start at 7 a.m now 7 a.m is still very busy so I usually get the busiest, a lot of rides between 7 to 9 a.m. So um, after 10 a.m., it kind of slows down, and around 11.30 to 12 p.m., it starts picking up again. Not to say that it stops completely. It just slows down with the requests, and then it'll pick up again. And uh, from 12 to 2, it's, it's kind of busy. And then after 3, it's very busy. But I choose to not work after 3 because I, I do not, I dislike I just very much dislike traffic, and so I try to avoid it as much as possible. That's also why it's so busy after 3, because there's so much traffic, and they need a lot of drivers, so they pay a little more. And so I've heard that you get paid a lot better when it's at night and on the weekends, but I can't work nights and weekends. I mean, I don't, first of all, number one, I don't have anybody to take care of my son. Number two, I don't want to risk my life. My son is still very young. He needs his mother. And so I don't want to lose my life over $150 on a Saturday night. So I'm sorry. I'd rather work harder in the day, a regular nine to five. And let's get down to business, shall we? So on top of the promotions that they have, and they also have tipping now, which is so amazing. Um, I roughly get paid. I mean, I work. Here are my hours. I'm going to speak about my paycheck. This is how much I get paid. My hours, my daily hours are from 7 a.m. to 2 to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. That is all I work. And sometimes when it's a little slow in the mornings, I'll work in the afternoons with my son Uber Eats because I can take my son with me and make a little extra cash. And with Uber Eats, I'll make like 20 bucks a day, 20, 30 bucks a day. And that's just for an hour or two hours, you know, maximum two hours. So yes, 
Um, and uh, so I usually get around four to five hundred dollars a week, a week, and that's thirty hours a week. So I think that's pretty good. Comparing the fact that um, I don't usually work all the six hours that I'm online. So in other words, I do about eight to 10 rides a day. And for four to $500 a week, I think it's pretty good. Um, it also depends on the, the length of the trip and the distance. I'm sorry, the, the length, the time, and the distance. So I think the length and the distance is the same, but the distance and the time. So that also varies, and that's why I usually, I push myself a little harder. I See, my goal, my goal, my daily goal is $100 to $150 a day. I usually don't make $150. I usually push to $110 um, to $120, but I set my goal a little higher just so I can push myself and I can make at least $100 a day. Because once I make $100 a day, then I know I'm set for the week. I mean, with $500 a week, 25 to 30 hours a week, I'm set. I'm set and I love my job. I love my schedule. I love my hours and I love my freedom. I love that I'm making $500 a week um, with my own freedom and no coworkers around me and just the fact that I'm on the open road and it's me, myself and I with my music and my car. And I also have an advantage. I also have a lot of perks with Uber. They offered a fuel card, which is basically, um, let me just, I can't show you cause it has a number on it, but it's a fuel card that I got from Uber. And uh, basically what it is, it gives me discounts on all gas stations. It's only for gas, but um, it's, I'm sorry, it's not just for gas, but it's for car repairs and things like that. So I'm just going to show you the fuel card. I'm not going to show you, like, obviously there's my name, but I'm not going to show you the number or anything. Um, so this card, I pretty much just use it for gas. I just got it this week, so I just filled up twice with this card, and they deduct it from my earnings, um, but they give me discounts. They give me 1.5. All right, guys, 1.5% uh, back on the, um, the fuel card. So I told I have spent on that fuel card $40 for this week, $40, so that's going to be deducted from my check for next week. So I will make sure to work $40 more just to, just to make up for that fuel lost. But the reason why I got the fuel card is because I save 1.5%. And you won't normally save 1.5% in gas stations with your normal debit card. So I prefer that option. and. Um, if I'm gonna be saving money I want to be saving money with with uber so that is that I also work on the weekends I also work on Saturday sometimes if I want a little extra cash and I, I like I said I have that advantage that I can work uber eats and I can work with my son so that's an extra 50 bucks in my pocket um, and so that's actually how much I get paid guys and the promotions they have promotions going on all the time they have they have uh, these promotions weekly right now they have make 35 trips uh, in certain hours and get $50 extra so you know it's just a uh, certain time so like in the mornings from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Monday through Friday and then in the afternoons from 3 to 8 p.m. or 3 to 7 p.m. And so total out of 35 trips in total for the, within those hours and you get 50 bucks fair and square, 50 bucks extra cash in your pocket. Um, the only one I've actually made uh, completed was make 10 trips. Uh, no, is it five trips, make 10 bucks. And so I did that. I made five trips in one morning and I earned 10 bucks. Guys, I'm already working. I'm already working and I'm already making trips. Why not make extra $10? So you know, I love the tip feature because not everyone will tip you, but I am going to put a sign on my on my rear view window, rear view mirror. Please tip your driver just to encourage people because I know that they see it, but just to kind of remind them and encourage them. And thus, that's extra money in your pocket. Yesterday, I made $10 in tips, $10 that I wouldn't have made or that I would have had to work a little extra for. So, guys, that's how much I make in Uber. I make about $500 a week. Um, give or take, and that depends on the peak hours, like I said, and it depends on promotions. It depends on 
uh, how long you want to work, you can make more. I've heard that people who work nights and weekends overnight make a lot more. I've heard, and I know, I know they make a lot more because you can make up to three hundred dollars a night. But that's if you're willing to work from you know eight p.m. to three a.m., four a.m. when it's like when it's on and popping, guys. When people are out and about, drunk, crazy. And I, I really don't want to put myself out there in risk. So I personally, I'm a, I'm a young mother. And so I'm a mother to a young boy. And I really do not want to risk myself, like I said, for 300 bucks. And just, my life isn't worth 300 bucks. So I'm not saying I will die, but there have been cases. And it happens every day. I mean, not in Uber, but I mean, it happens. It happens. You put yourself out there, the risk factor goes up. So... That's it guys, um, that's how much I get paid and I will show you some screenshots of my pay stubs and the promotions and all that good stuff so you can have an idea and you can see. And thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will be sure to respond to all your questions. I always respond to everyone guys. No matter how many comments I get, I respond to each and every one of you. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.